people are concerned as to what's going on um, regarding the geopolitical push of the New World Order and their need to create race riots and for Obama to start rounding people up as per the NDAA rule that he signed into law where he insisted that he have the power to pick up uh, dissidents and enemies that he doesn't like to be able to round them up and have the legal power to do so. Why that got passed is beyond me, but it did. I'm here to say I got passed because you're all alone and there's no one you can trust and you're just flying by the seat of your pants and you have no protection and nobody has your back. Okay? You don't have the government to rely on or your neighbors. It's neighbor against neighbor. So now desperate times get into desperate situations and what you're going to have to do and this is just a little uh, prophetic message first of all the Lord is the only place, the only redress, and the only hope that you have in terms of protection. Take the Lord's protection. Get into the Word every day. Take the Lord's protection and get into the Word every day. I mean, that's absolutely mandatory. Um, the other thing you're going to have to do is you're just going to have to realize that um, that what people are planning for will not necessarily happen. In other words, yes, they may plan for a race riot. Yes, they may plan to rig the election. <clears throat> yes, they could plan all those things. But it doesn't mean it's going to happen. I have to keep reminding you of this because there's so many gloom and doomsayers. It could very easily go the other way and you could have a respite. At any time, you could have been wiped out all along the timeline of your life. But something held it back. This time, is it different? No. You still have about the same number of people praying now as you had before, a small number of people praying, the remnant, and you have, uh, and would, would the Father wipe the remnant out just to get the bad guys? And the answer throughout history has been no, not necessarily. This is not yet Adolf Hitler, World War II. I told you, the end goes on a long ways. The end goes on a long time, praise God. In the name of Jesus, I pray for calm to be uh, put forth across the land of the United States and the people who are worried. Worrying is forbidden, according to Jesus Christ and his gospel. He forbids worry in the Sermon on the Mount. Your Father loves you and protects you, and he's the only one. Why would he suddenly harm you? Uh, true, suffering is a part of it, but... That's where the prophets come in, where you have to know, well, is this the season of it? And if it is, then you'd be prepared for it rather than lamenting, would you not? For everything, there is a season. And um, right now, there's been a really hard season and a hard time where people have kind of lost things and lost everything. And what they're going to have to do is figure out what's really important. And this pruning time is a time of just that. I, you know, the the bad guys, if they were completely bad, 100%, there would really be no stopping them. But they too have families, the people that you say are bad guys. They have families, and they have feelings, and they care that their, their children do well, and they can't do well if the whole thing is a post-apocalyptic nightmare, um, a la the Book of Eli. If it goes to that point, then everyone, including them, loses. So understand, they may have, um, the scenario that they have right now is a not guilty verdict for, for uh, George Zimmerman, okay? Uh, race riots as a result, coast to coast, uh, trying to get the black people to burn their cities down and burn their own houses down, by the way, which is what they did in Rodney King and which they did in the, they, oh, how they can do this. The Jesse Jacksons and the uh, the black um, the black contingent is on um, in many cases on the federal payroll. Jackson, Sharpton, all those they're on the federal payroll. They're in the race business. The white supremacists and neo Nazis are also on the federal payroll. Both are paid by the same people to affect the same riot, um, which would then have the crackdown, confiscation of guns, and the roundup of dissidents. That was on the table you were called back during the Bush years. And you're still here. 
Come on, you've got to believe in goodness. You've got to believe that your prayers count. You've got to have some faith that the Lord... They always have plans like this on the board to wipe us all out. Okay, the planned alien invasion. Yep, they want to do that yesterday in the worst way. The planned alien invasion. But something held it back. Okay, the people are screaming for the rapture. I told you the rapture is not going to happen. Are you believing me now? It's not going to happen. And I will be right in the end. And the people that are wrong are not going to repent. Because they can't. If they repent, then they would lose their faith in God. You see how dangerous that... Oh, boy. So it's a brief message, but you've got to buck up here. You have got to buck up here. Your prayer counts. What you think counts. Um, what you do counts. What you, who you love counts. Who you hate counts. Everything that you do has an effect and a very strong effect on the entire world. Please don't think that you're just an observer or forgotten. If you don't want the race riots and the martial law and the big crackdown of pain, which is what I, I told you Obama represents, pure pain and human misery. That's all he's interested in, is inflicting that on as many people as possible. He's already done it to his own precious black community. I mean, he's already put them in complete pain, and he is unremorseful about any of it. Well, because he's a psycho. Okay, fine. That's a judgment. But even a judgment has a time limit. You know, we're going to have a chance to see if people can be righteous, if people can repent. And then if they don't, then there'll be some more punishment. Right now, this country is being punished because of too many people, I'm talking about everyday people, have forgotten their faith in God and forgotten that the Lord wants them to do well, and they operate just by anger and, 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 and human instinct, which is a very dangerous thing to act on rather than rationality, calm, and waiting for a sure word from the Lord, which is what you should be doing. I, you should be doing it if you want peace. You should be doing it if you want peace. You should be doing it if you want peace, dude. Dude, you should be doing it if you want peace. If you don't want peace, just throw your faith out the window, start worrying about the whole thing going off the cliff, and, hey, worry about that every day, will you? I'm so sick of Christians telling me all the awful things are going to happen, and then they don't happen, and then they don't repent. Huh? How about that? Got to always leave room for God to work. And he's telling me, no, it's not the final smackdown, but it's, yes, I know, you feel like you're being, you're being killed by a thousand cuts. Yes, it's painful. So, therefore, reform. Haven't you done just as many bad things by throwing your faith out? By going on your own understanding? By not helping people out? By thinking of yourself selfishly and nothing and no one else? Haven't you contributed just as much as, say, George Soros? Isn't that what he does? Well, we all need to just take a time out here and stop assuming that um, the worst is going to happen then call that Christian faith. That is not Christian faith. Assuming that the worst is going to happen is not Christian faith. You're not a Christian at that point. You're just a fear monger. You're falling into the trap just like everybody else. You're supposed to be a peculiar people. You're supposed to be different and set apart from them. You don't participate in their rituals and their satanic stuff. Well, but apparently you do allow yourself to participate in their fear-mongering. So that's enough. Let us be at peace now, in Jesus' name. I pray for peace upon this broadcast, peace upon this transmission. And um, I'm not saying bad things aren't going to happen, but look what, what, what good have you done by just waiting for the other shoe to drop for the last 20 years now. Come on, time to grow up a little bit. It isn't, it doesn't, reality isn't the way you think it is. There will be no rapture. The rapture will not be televised. 
period. There's going to be no rapture. You're going to go through it. You hear me? You're going to go through it. We're all going to go through it. So we better make the best of it. And you better believe that through your faith you can move mountains so you can overturn a corrupt election. You can overturn corrupt people at the uh, Supreme Court. You can overturn a corrupt Congress. Yes, you can do that. Why aren't you? Where's your faith? You know, being a victim makes it laughable when you say, well, I'm a Christian. No, you're a, you're, no, you're a victim. Your religion is the religion of being a victim. You've already given up as far as the Christian walk. When was the last time you prayed? I mean, really. Okay, tough love. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'll see you next time.